Do you take charge? Do you, do you take pride in yourself and your accomplishments? Do you like to take charge of your life? Do you like to control your destiny? If you said yes to any of these three questions, you not only agree to, to the phrase, do you, but you also agree to change in one way. And that change is through goal setting. Tony Robbins, motivational speaker, says, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. As <clears throat> Matt Reed said today, trying new things is a great way to start in goal setting. <clears throat> As we make and keep goals, we can take pride in ourselves and our accomplishments. We can take charge of our lives, which will inherently change our destiny. Many people don't take the time to sit down, make goals, and follow through. As college students, we have time increments called semesters to come to exactly be 14 weeks. We can take that time to work on a goal. If we fail, that's okay. We've got another semester to go. And, <clears throat> but don't wait. What do you want to choose to work on? What do you want to choose to work on? Don't wait until the New Year's resolutions comes around because we all know how that ends up. They don't. They don't last very long. As Joseph Lucien from the US News says, approximately 80% of resolutions fail by February, the second week of February. So why not do something more smart about it? <clears throat> I like to control the controllable. I got sick, I cannot control that. But I did my best to, con to get better. I downed a whole gallon of orange juice and did all the medication I could possibly do to get a voice. Growing up, I made lists. And on the, that list, I like to check them off, seeing what I can accomplish and I would show up to my dad seeing if I accomplished it to improve and on that list there was practicing the flute I never checked that one off because that was his goal not mine when it's self-motivated you can <clears throat> for the right reasons you can stick to them and accomplish your goal I learned my capability and it is a grand sight and I want you guys and I know you guys can fill this experience for yourselves if you motivate yourself and do goal setting. So let's start. How can we make goals? We can take pride in ourselves and our accomplishments by reflecting where we are now. Is this where I want to be? If not, where do I want to go? How am I going to get there? And what am I going to do about it? This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Alice talking to the Cheshire Cat saying, where should I go? Well, that all depends on where you want to go. Well, I just want to go somewhere. Then it doesn't matter which way you go. On your, your shoe, will do that if you only walk long enough. <clears throat> Some goals people and students have are making a monthly budget, keeping a journal, losing weight, going to college, talking to family more on the phone, getting an internship, dating. These seven things, seven goals, cover seven aspects of our life. As Dave Ramsey, motivational speaker, says, our financial, physical, spiritual, intellectual, family, career, and social. The problem is people are not making goals. We are just darn right lazy and we procrastinate and aren't motivated for the right reasons. If there's no progression in something, we are digressing. No progression in something, digression. So choose something to work on. We are losing out on, on those opportunities to do something great. As members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, <coughs> semi-annually for the general conference, the prophets and apostles speak to the members to, uh, on certain topics to help them be accountable to themselves and encourage them to apply, review, 
and reflect. They've said those three words multiple times to apply, review, and reflect what they have said, but they keep repeating the same topics because we are not applying it. We are not doing those three things. So we need to hold ourselves accountable by reflecting on when we will follow, remind ourselves about what they talked about. And that could be yearly, semi-annually, monthly, daily, or in the moment. There are different, different goals. Each different goal require different amounts of time or work to master that goal. So don't beat yourself up if it takes a while to lose that weight that you just gained from Thanksgiving. <clears throat> or for finances, that could take a while. But what you do, what you want to change, tweak, or improve can change the matter of getting yourself out of that rut. Think of a goal phrase or a motivational quote. That's what I like to do. I don't like the, the word goal because that's intimidating. My goal phrase is stay on the covenant path. And that resonates with me because it leads me to my end goal. Every single goal I have leads me to stay on the covenant path. Now that we know what we want, we can get ready to tackle your goals by making SMART goals. <coughs> You can take charge by being smart and making smart goals. As Dave Ramsey says, an ac um, a motivational speaker gives us the acronym SMART. Specific. Specific is define the goal, then find out wh who is involved, what needs to be accomplished, where will it be done, why do you want to do it, which constraints or requirements do I have. Then you can measure your goal accurately. Can you track the progress? How much? Many? How will I know when my goal is completed? Okay, everybody pull out your phones. After these things are listed, I want you to take a picture, okay? Um, achievable. Is it reasonable? Is it in my reach? Oops, I jumped ahead. Um, relevant. Is it worthwhile? Do my goals meet my needs? Is it immediate or to my long-term plans? Timely. Time limit of completion. Takes month, day, year. Deadlines will help you keep on track. Okay, everybody take the time, take a picture, because afterwards you will use this as a, <coughs> as a reference to make your own goals and save it in your phones. As college students, we have different time increments. <coughs> Like we said, 14 weeks to choose a goal. I chose to write in my journal. And I want to continue this on for the rest of my life, but I chose it so I could be credible for this speech. I've been, for two weeks, I've been writing in my journal. But like we all say, that nobody's perfect. Life happens, as Sister Bean says, and we can always make up. But it doesn't matter, it's not the progress necessarily, but your direction. <clears throat> Anything worthwhile will be hard, but as we take charge by making SMART goals, we are well off on our way to choosing our destiny. Choosing your destiny. We all fall short, but that's okay. As McKenna Hatch said today, grow as you go. I love that. That's one of my new favorite ones. You gotta be exciting to be able to learn and grow. It's, it's such exciting. When you fall, when a baby walks towards a parent and they fall down, it's like, do you like beat that child up and say, what did you do wrong? No, you rejoice with them. And as Alice says, I could tell you my adventures beginning from yesterday or from this morning, but it's no use going back to yesterday because I'm a different person then. Perfection is not necessary, but the direction, desire, and the action is. Check your direction, not your progress. Don't give up. Don't say tomorrow, but today. <clears throat> Look at where you want to improve. Make those SMART goals. Repeat and review goals. Revamp them and make new goals. It is time to do something about this. We want to feel accomplished. We want to take charge and control our destiny. So start.
keep it simple and make goals by making it fun. Write down those goals. On the back of the room, there'll be a paper that will have motivational quotes or goal phrases that you can look at to inspire you to find your own goal phrase that can motivate you to write your own goal and your goal phrase.